As the Ford government expands pharmacist powers, allowing them to treat and prescribe for more common ailments, there are questions about how much the move will cost Ontario taxpayers and concerns about whether or not it is ethical to prescribe a drug where it is sold. We're working on all parts of the system to make sure that the people of Ontario have access in their community and as convenient as possible. Next Minister, question. why are Next we covering question, fees today? Next why isn't that something you want to disclose Next to the public? Question. It wasn't supposed to be a contentious announcement, but the health minister's refusal to answer repeated questions about how much the government is paying pharmacists to prescribe and treat common ailments quickly turned sour. Surely you know that. You're the health minister. Uh, I, we will not be covering fees today. Do you mind just answering the question? You've been asked multiple times now. Please don't shut us down. I'm not shutting you down. What I'm saying is the consultation that we are announcing today has nothing to do with the fee component. It speaks to the absolute lack of accountability that we've seen with this government. Who is ultimately benefiting? And I have a feeling that someone like Shoppers Drug Mart is actually standing to benefit a lot more from today's announcement than the patients of Ontario. A total of 14 ailments have been added to the growing list of conditions pharmacists can treat and includes sore throats, calluses and corns, headaches, shingles and sleep disorders. The Ontario Pharmacists Association has since confirmed it will cost the government roughly $19 per visit, similar to what it would cost a family doctor. The pharmacy business model is different, um, so payments go to the pharmacy. Are there concerns though that this money is going back to these chains uh, as opposed to family doctors who are already struggling to make ends meet? Look, we need to invest in all parts of the system, so it's not about uh, uh, taking money from one and giving it to the other. It is an expansion of the powers pharmacists were given last January to treat 19 other ailments like cold sores and pink eye. More than one million assessments and prescriptions have since been made. One million visits in just over a year and a half suggests to me that the people of Ontario are um, absolutely embracing and accessing this option. Shouldn't that also suggest to you, though, that there's a lack of family doctors? Are you using pharmacists as a replacement here? You know, we've also, as you know, um, made expansions and investments to ensure that people who want have access to a primary care practitioner. But 2.5 million Ontarians are now without a family doctor. What I see from the announcement today is simply a Band-Aid solution. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.